What is up, my block buddies? We interrupt this special program for something very weird, something that I've just thought about the last few days, actually. Welcome to another day of exciting blocked content news. Uh, we can't say for sure, but we all feel this. We're approaching the announcement for the Nintendo NX. We, we guess. We think. There's really no way to know for sure at this point in time, but there's already quite a lot of information to go on. We know so little, yet every tiny piece that does come out is monumental. It feels like every day there's some sort of leak, there is information coming from all sides, and every time there's something substantial, like someone from a third party saying something, it means that news is just so special. And I guess that's going to change pretty soon. You know, I think pretty soon we will know what this is, and all the speculation stops. That's kind of... It's actually kind of sad if you think about it because it's so, you know, in our minds it's this big thing that could potentially change the way people play games and see video gaming as, in general. But it, it could all just change pretty soon because it, it would just be this thing, a box with a console inside of it. And what I was thinking today was something maybe slightly negative, okay? So please stay here because I'm just gonna go through this to get it done. But we are all kind of thinking it no one's really saying it, and I wanted to be the one to maybe, you know, maybe maybe something we'd rather not think about at this moment, right? I was thinking about the ways that this new, soon-to-be-announced console could potentially disappoint. And man, did, did that make me sad for a second there, because you don't really want to do that, right? If you're hyped about something, if you're hyped about something like a movie in, in theaters, you don't really want to think about how much it's going to disappoint you, or how bad it might be because you want it to be good because you are excited for it you're a fan and i feel the same about this console i really don't want to feel like it's not going to be what i want to be you know i i'm ready to throw my wallet at nintendo multiple times if if this console is anything like what i imagine it to be in my head but yeah it, it did make me sad and because a lot of these things could ring true the things that I'm about to list, that that could be such a bummer, you know? I, I bet you guys have all thought of the amazing possibilities of the system and all it can potentially do, like in your mind, and what it could mean for gaming in general. Everyone has a crazy weird idea, right? And what if it's not that? What if it's something different? And what if it could potentially not be what you want? Today, but today I think it's time to prepare ourselves just a little bit. This is why the Nintendo NX could disappoint. First up, I thought about this little thing. What if it's just a gamepad that you can take anywhere? This sounds pretty weird because that's actually pretty cool, right? A gamepad that you can take anywhere, but what if that's just it, right? What if the rumors are true and it is a handheld console hybrid, but it's just a gamepad controller, nothing uh, to really you know have a box or have a console but it's just a new handheld device you can take it anywhere but it has the power of a console what if that's just it that's where all the marketing ends for that console that would be pretty bland and i don't really think nintendo will necessarily go for that because they want this you know home console experience the wii u is dying out there are no more games coming paper mario color splash was like its swan song and even that game wasn't very well received in general it's time for something new and if it's just a gamepad that you can take anywhere that would be kind of a setback for nintendo i think because it would mean a reiteration of the concept that worked sort of worked before which kind of is what you know the wii did very well was to change gaming and to you know have this nintendo revolution and you know have people off their couch and not play video games in the dark and play video games with friends and have players of all ages play and the wii u kind of took that concept a little bit further and made it specifically for you now nintendo has said that they want to do something new with this console and not brand it anywhere close to the wii or wii u but if this would be the case if it would be just a gamepad that you can take anywhere like the rumors are sort of saying then it would fall in line with improving the concept of the Wii U, of the thing that came before. Which kind of contradicts Nintendo, but it also falls in line with the things that we've heard about the console so far. So, I'm at odds with this one. I really don't want it to just be that thing. 
I think that Nintendo has something more up their sleeve, but I just had to say this. The second point that I made is that it's not the successor to Nintendo home consoles. Now, this could be a big thing, all right? What if it, you know, is not the next, you know, GameCube, Wii, Wii U? What if it's not that? What if it's something in between? What if it's something like, like a new sort of concept that really doesn't get anywhere? What if it's not a home console like we imagine it to be? And what if it's sort of a new brand of things? I mean, we all really want this home console experience, but what if Nintendo is just completely somewhere else with their minds? Maybe they want like a streaming device. Maybe they want something that is more home entertainment and not necessarily home console. So I'm, I'm really feeling a weird vibe here that maybe it could potentially, you know, not be branded an actual console and not actually be branded an actual handheld. Because Nintendo has been talking so vaguely about this thing that anything could potentially be true. And thinking that, you know, they want to make something new, it could maybe even be something like a PlayStation Vita, where it's not really one or the other, you know? It kind of doesn't really check boxes that you want. And that would be pretty sad too. In another point I tried to make, it says, it's not in any way backwards compatible. Now this, this could be rough, right? If it's not in any way backwards compatible, this would mean there's no playing of Wii games on this system because potentially it could have cartridges, right? There's no playing Wii U games on it as well because those were CDs too. And yeah, it kind of makes me think, what if that's just the console and all the games that you own, you can't play it on that new system. You just have to wait for ports to come. That would be a pretty big hit for Nintendo, I think, because Nintendo's always been so great with using and reusing different things. Even when it came down to the Wii U, you could even use the Wii controllers for many of the games and, you know, all of the accessories. And even for the Wii itself in 2006, I believe, you could even use the GameCube controllers and plug them in at the top. And if this console is doing its own entire thing and is not in any way backwards compatible, that could be trouble for a lot of Nintendo fans because they really want this continuation, you know? They really want this generational feeling of a console that kind of evolves but still takes something of the previous, right? If you just bought The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii because it came out earlier and you want to play it on your new console, of course, you're gonna have to buy The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo NX. And it won't be backwards compatible with the CD because it doesn't read CDs. And maybe the, you know, maybe the handheld part of the device could read 3DS games, right? What if that's not the case? What if you, you know, can't even do that kind of stuff? What if it streams from the console and you just need the cartridge and you can take that in your controller as well? So, yeah, not being backwards compatible seems very plausible at this moment. So it's one of these in this list that I think is very possible at this moment. This seems like it's kind of Nintendo's thing, and I think this actually might be true. The graphics are still not up to par. And what I mean with up to par, you know, the Wii U has good graphics. Actually, the system, the gra graphics in the games, they look great. I've played Mario 3D, 3D World, and it was a really cool, solid game. A lot of the other games look great as well. Smash Brothers is a great example, too. Mario Kart 8 looks exceptional. But, you know, what if the graphics are still not up to par with what the other guys are doing? You know, namely the Xboxes and the Playstations. So that could be weird because everyone is expecting, oh, Nintendo is ahead of the curve. They have a new console, you know, they're in the running for a new console. The Wii U already battled the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So if Nintendo's new console, the NX, is not up to par with those systems, that could mean you know, that a lot of the hardcore gamers could say, hey, wait, this is not for me. You know, Nintendo is still not doing this. Nintendo is still not trying to, you know, get their perfect HD, awesome, you know, maybe 4K Zelda game. That could, you know, be trouble for a lot of people. And I think a lot of people expect the graphics to be better than these consoles that are out now because it's going to be the new thing, right? So people do, you know, feel right to actually expect that. What also could hurt the console very much, I do think Nintendo is addressing this, but I have to say it, is a very weak launch. So launch games that basically do nothing for the console. 
what if there is just like a Nintendo Land, kind of like the Wii U and no killer app game? We all kind of expect something like a Mario game or maybe even Breath of the Wild launching with the system. Maybe something they haven't even announced, like a Kirby game, maybe a Metroid game, something like that. But what if it just has a very weak launch again and we have to wait at least a month or two for the actual AAA games to come out? That would hurt the console so much that I don't think it could recover because I don't think the Wii U ever did. And the concept of a handheld console hybrid does sell really well. I do think it sells a lot better than the Wii U, which was weirdly marketed and that was its biggest flaw right out of the gate. But a very weak launch could still hurt this console so much and I really wish that Nintendo right now is working on games that immediately launch with a system that are quality and that they took the time to perfect and do not need to be delayed at all to still be amazing. And it's a lot to ask of Nintendo because they really want these things to be perfect. That's why they delay almost every single game that they make, right? But yeah, a very weak launch could hurt this and it isn't unlike Nintendo to do something like that. So let's have our fingers crossed for very cool games that launch with that system. My other point is something that could potentially, yeah, kind of disturb you guys. Uh, what if it's a Wii brand concept or a gimmick console? What if what Nintendo is saying right now is not true and it is sort of a Wii, you know, a Wii U 2 or a Wii Go or still using that Wii brand or a gimmick console like the Wii U was. You know, it only has that one thing going for it and that's the screen. What else are you, are you buying the system for? Yeah, it's Nintendo games, I guess. That's the only reason. What if it's just that, right? So I have three more points left. One of them is it's not at all anything like a handheld console hybrid. We are all expecting this. We are all thinking, hey, you know, all these leaks that come out, all the information that Nintendo has hinted at, maybe it's not anything like a handheld console hybrid. Maybe it's just a console. Maybe it's just the new Nintendo console and all the leaks about a screen and taking it on the go. That's just not true. What if that were to happen? I don't really know. Um, that could be a, a, a weird turn of events because everyone is so hyped about that idea that I think it has to happen now. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, we all take that for granted. What if that's not the case? I hope to like <laughs> make you think about this too. What do you think that if it's not a handheld console hybrid, what could be, you know, the factor that it needs? I'm very curious what you guys think about that. And, you know, maybe it once again has a weak third party support. That could also hurt the system very much because we know how big Nintendo is on their own AAA titles and doesn't really necessarily care that much about third party support. Um, and you could see it in the Wii, but you could see it even more in the Wii U. That really hurts sales for the system because everyone is expecting the big new games to also come out on the Nintendo consoles. And what if Nintendo is retreading that same exact mistake? That could be bad news for the whole console and it could potentially mean that third party is kind of not a Nintendo thing anymore. That sounds weird to me and I think that Nintendo still has, you know, the Sega and the Ubisofts and all that. I think Nintendo is in a great place at this moment and not having third party support sounds weird at this moment, but if we look back at the Wii U, it didn't really happen for them then. They got Bayonetta 2 and it was actually an exclusive, but I think that's sort of an aggressive way to handle third party. I think that at that moment it becomes like sort of like second party or something. I think Nintendo has to be a lot smoother and if the console has great graphics like we hope it has, then of course, you know, they all want their games to look the best that they can, so they'll put them on the system too. So that's a hope for two things. One, good graphics that hold up and people that want to lend their games to Nintendo. And my final point is this, it will be delayed to late 2017 or possibly early 2018. Now, we all think that this console is launching somewhere in March, right, of next year. I think that is what someone actually leaked and that's what everyone is going on right now. That's what the hype train is kind of saying. But what if it's still gonna get delayed? Like, you know, a lot of Nintendo's products do. Um, if it's still coming out in something like late 2017 or maybe early 2018, we still care enough will the hype train be you know that good to still last that long and to have us you know still wanting this console it could potentially happen and having it delayed could really hurt that this flow nintendo has 
if Nintendo were to announce a Nintendo Direct for next month, it would kind of still be in time and people would still be very hyped. But I think that people are starting to kind of get this feeling like, man, it has to come now, right? Because I've invested so much time and effort into, you know, this console, reading the news on it and kind of getting myself educated about the system. But if it comes out late 2017, that will be all out the window and people will just lose interest. They'll play their Breath of the Wild and they'll have fun, but there will be nothing really in between. They could release like a sports title. I think they're already doing something like that, but it will not be the same. So that could really hurt the console in general. And I really don't hope that it gets delayed. It doesn't really have a date at this moment, but I really don't hope that it gets any later than March of next year. We need to get these negative thoughts out of the way. I think we will soon have a lot more concrete information to discuss, and I can't wait to report on it for you guys. Don't forget our Super Mario Maker Challenge, because you can actually win very cool Super Mario Maker magnets for on your fridge. All you have to do is leave a comment down below why you should get them, and we'll just ship these things to you via the magic of internet and you'll have a very cool own Mario level that you can make. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Block Content to get news on things like the Nintendo NX the quickest way possible. I'd love it if you guys could give this video a like and check us out on Facebook and Twitter too at Squared Things. Definitely subscribe because be part of our family. We want you to see all the new stuff. Subscribe please. Until next time, see ya.